systems, one of the commonest thing, feelings that our participants have is overwhelm. Mm. So, Joss, you want to say a word about overwhelm? Yeah, overwhelm is it's a, a default mode for human beings. When things start to look overwhelming, usually what's happening is you're not actually dealing with what's happening, you're dealing with your story about what's happening. Overwhelm is not something that happens in reality. It's something that happens in our story about we have too much to do, we don't have enough time, we don't have enough money, we don't have enough resources. So one of the things that we tell people to do whenever they're in an experience of overwhelm is to literally get in action and do something because action is the cure for overwhelm. And there are some practical things. They say, so okay, we'll be in action, so what will help us? So there are about five things that can really help overwhelm. Firstly, if you work in a systemic way, know that when we can align and source from our wisdom and have conversations and critical thinking that we are not alone, it doesn't matter what problem we're solving. So it could be Mel in the housing board and Jessica in the museum and Joss with her piece promise. It, it doesn't matter because though the problems we solve are different, the way in which we engage in the conversations on access, on dignity, on, on being able to include everyone, on interdependence are very, very similar. So what happens and is successful in one project clears the space for other projects and people to succeed. And in the space of power, we are truly one. So there is, in, in this model, it's a way of creating synergy through being able to support each other in the systemic change and to create resonance. So the first thing to deal with overwhelm is recognize you're not alone. That if you strategize this way, there are others. Second thing is that just be able to connect your project in a strategic way to shifting the pattern. Because once you can see that your project that's specific can shift the pattern through language, through strategy, through tactic, then it's not a matter of having to solve the entire gamut of it. It's a matter of influencing that shift. The third thing about overwhelm is really to recognize that in, in that success and action, is actually our feedback for continuing. That if we step back and not engage, there is no chance for us to feel almost the high, the psychic income of success. Success as accomplishment, accomplishment which is deep, as different from achievement which is only measurable and visible. Not that we shouldn't achieve things, of course we must, but accomplishment is the deepest mm -hmm. case. 